From north to south, east to west, we're going to explore the art. The art full of wonders and mysteries. Welcome to Finding Art. Cancer is a type of disease where cells grow out of control, divide and invade other tissues. With cancer, the normal process of cell division goes out of control. Cells change their nature because mutations have occurred in their genes. All the daughter cells of cancer cells are also cancerous. Let us get to know about ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer Symptoms Ovarian cancer may cause several signs and symptoms. The most common symptoms include abdominal bloating or swelling, indigestion or nausea, pelvic or abdominal pain, upset stomach, trouble eating or feeling full quickly, weight loss, back pain, constipation, a frequent need to urinate, changes in appetite, often a loss of appetite, changes in bowel movements, increased abdominal girth, fatigue, menstrual changes, pain during sex. Causes of ovarian cancer Age The risk of ovarian cancer increases with age, with most cases occurring after the menopause. More than 8 out of 10 cases of ovarian cancer occur in women who are over 50 years of age. Family history If someone has two or more close relatives who developed ovarian cancer or breast cancer, her risk of developing the condition may be increased. Ovulation and fertility. Every time an egg is released into the reproductive system, the surface of the ovary breaks to let it out and ovary is damaged and needs to be repaired. Each time, there's a greater chance of abnormal cell growth during the repair. Chances of ovarian cancer increases for following reasons. Never having been pregnant, never having taken the contraceptive pill, early start of menstruation, late start of menopause. Diagnosis of ovarian cancer Imaging tests such as ultrasound or CT scans of your abdomen and pelvis. These tests can help determine the size, shape and structure of your ovaries. Blood test which can detect a protein found on the surface of ovarian cancer cells. Surgery to remove a tissue sample and abdominal fluid to confirm a diagnosis of ovarian cancer. Laparoscopy and possibly endoscopy a laparoscope, a thin viewing tube with a camera at the end is inserted into the patient through a small incision in the lower abdomen to examine the ovaries in detail and can also take a biopsy. Colonoscopy If the patient has had bleeding from the rectum or constipation, the doctor may order a colonoscopy to examine the large intestine. Abdominal fluid aspiration. If the patient's abdomen is swollen, the doctor may decide to carry out this test. A buildup of fluid in the abdomen might indicate that the ovarian cancer has spread. Chest X-ray. This test will help the doctor see if the cancer has spread to the lungs or to the pleural space surrounding the lungs. MRI. Magnetic resonance imaging scan. Magnets and radio waves produce two-dimensional and three-dimensional pictures of the target area. Testing cells from the uterus or cervix. Using partial wave spectroscopic microscopy, it's possible to detect diagnostic changes in cells from the cervix or uterus taken from ovarian cancer patients. Thanks for watching. This is your host, Tracy Gomez. Please subscribe. See you in my next video.